Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting 183 at our new time on Wednesdays at noon, at least here in what we call Fire Giant Standard Time, or probably known to most people as Pacific Standard Time, and I guess it'll be daylight soon, but whatever. Uh, February 19th, day before my birthday. It's kind of exciting. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now, and watching it later. And... Um, what are we talking about today? Today has a little bit more of an interesting agenda. We'll do triage like we usually do. And then we will do um, a 314 update. Yeah, we have some things I want to talk about 314. Uh, then we'll have a Wix 4 update, uh, talking about how things have gone in that. And then we'll have our usual questions and comments and things that people want to discuss at the end. I think that's everything to get us set up. Sorry, I'm a little frazzled. It's been a very busy few weeks, actually. Um, Bob, you ready for triage? Sure. Sure. Ah, I like the excitement. Here we go. Triage. Dun, dun, dun. We have two items, but we're only going to talk about one today because we're still not prepared to talk about this extension version or ID thing, which we will eventually need to really drill into. Um, I took a look at this earlier, and... Um, the issue is that if you do a if you launch the app from when you have launched a change on the bootstrapper, then apparently the app ends up keeping the programs and features thinking that the install is still alive. So you go through, hit change, do a repair or whatever, and then you hit launch the app at the end. You launch your application, it starts, you close the install. You go back to add, remove programs, and you try to change anything else or uninstall anything else, it'll tell you, hey, the current program is still running. So they have something, and it's like they've created a job object to programs and features to know, to keep track of the install and all of its child processes that get launched. Um, so they can say, hey, no, there's still something in that uninstall or install that I launched that's still running around, which from their point of view makes some sense. I don't, I it's don't not know. Horrible. I don't know if there's a way of launching a process out of a job, if assuming it is a job. I guess we'll have to go ask. <laughs> Maybe Raymond Shen will tell us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get launched in a job object. Here's how you get out. Because there is a way of launching a process out of a job object. I don't know if you could do that from shell execute, which is probably what we're using. Yeah, it is. Interesting. Um, we're going to have to go ask how this works from from Windows. Interestingly enough, for the first time, the new apps and features works properly. <laughs> or, or does not go to that extent. I think this is the first time, right? <laughs> Where it works better or as more as we want than this one. Um, yeah, that's interesting something to look at and burn for 4.0, for, for 4X at least. Yeah. And someone will need to go dig into what actually is going on here. I mean, I'm making a guess that it's the job object. That's the best guess I have as to what might do it. Um, I don't know of any other feature in Windows that could capture that kind of thing. That's yeah, interesting. You, you got me. My concern is that working around it might be fairly complex for the if there's not a way to, to launch, you know, an, a, a, a disconnected process, mm -hmm. it might be a pain to, to work around for this yep. particular scenario. Mm, it's interesting. Um, hmm. uh, it's interesting. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm interested enough. If I had time, I'd like to go dig into it, but I do not have time to go dig into something like this. But yeah, all right, cool. So off to Forex. <sighs> I need to make time to talk about this at some point. But all right, that's triage. Let's go back and talk about, I don't remember what I put first, 4.0? Yeah, 4.0. I put them in the reverse order. Uh, the agenda's out of order with what we're actually talking about. Let's talk about 4.0. Um, patching has been developed enough to prove the pr the uh, the approach that we wanted to use that we described 
in the last meeting back in January, um, which essentially is instead of using candle and light and torch and pyro and all those different uh, four or five command lines you need to to get your all the way through, you could just say Wix build patch output an output MSI uh, MSP, and it will do all of the work that candle light pyro and torch I guess would have done in one command and give you back an MSP. It is quite nice. It's actually one nice command. It does make building patches that much easier. Um, another side effect that looks good from here is that we will be able to integrate patching into MS build, possibly. Something that those last, uh, the double, um, the multi-pass with candlelight, torch, pyro was difficult to represent MS build with this new um, approach being the same way that you know normal MSIs are built, merge modules are built, that means that we should be able to update the build process to build patches out of MS Build, which will be cool. Um, it also was the largest, I think it was the largest unknown in Wix 4, is how can we bring patching back? Uh, so that's also a nice feeling. It took three or four weeks of effort to get that far. Um, so that means, uh, hey, great, if it's done, what's left? What's left? Well, one, um, files and patches. So while I did get to the point where I validated that patching and the system will work, there is still work to be done about getting files into their cabs and out of the other MSIs and all that kind of stuff. That's mostly about fixing the code that's there. Um, there's a lot of commented out code that's essentially just do the work to build files. It shouldn't, um, not anticipate to break the model. The model seems to be working fine. It's just more work needs to be done, and I didn't have the fifth and sixth week to get that work done before having to get pulled off and do other things. So that'll be one of the first things I do when I am done with my current projects here. Um, after that is merge modules, which still does not seem like a large undertaking, too large an undertaking. Um, also be done. And then instance transforms. And instance transforms should be uh, relatively straightforward now that patching is validated because patching deals with transforms. Now that transforms are working, instance transforms uh, should be straightforward to turn that code back on. Um, honestly, it's a simpler version of some of the stuff that's done in patching. So that leaves us with then however many bugs there are in Wix 4. Uh, to get things working and going. So there are, I'm sure, plenty, but it's it feels good. I, the key takeaway is that patching and our model seems to have been proven. Took a lot of effort, but that's it looks good. So now we just have to finish that. Merge modules and instance transforms have no concerns other than work. So essentially we have no real unknowns, just work between us and the NW4. Um, Delta finding bugs, well, I guess they're unknown bugs that we have. Um, also, uh, we have an early Wix 4 uh, adopter that we've been working closely with at Fire Giant, and they continue to have success, including getting their ginormous system and all that um, on Wix 4 building MSIs. And that has been a large undertaking and has been successful, which means that, well, at a certain level, <laughs> Wix 4 is building MSIs uh, so with from a very, very large code base. So that's uh, a nice stress test that's proving that um, the system is working on those fronts. Patching, of course, is coming. And they're not using merge modules, so they haven't you know, needed the merge module stuff. That's why it hasn't been done. So that all looks good. So we're not coming out with Wix 4 with these other two features to say, cool, we haven't validated it all. It's not true. We will have validated it with a very large Wix 4 customer. So that's the state of Wix 4. Um, I'm feeling more upbeat about it because I have a much better grapple on patching than I did before, where it was always this big, black, fearful box. All right, so now I want to talk about something that we don't haven't talked about a lot, um, and that's 3.14. Um, we've had a number of different people come to us um, to say, hey, we would really like uh, to do these things, and uh, what can we do to help make these happen? And so we've had a couple customers come to Fire Giant and say, these are things that we need fixed. And we had someone else that says they're willing to do um, more work than we were able to um, apply to get a fix on these very high-profile issues that have been floating around in Wix 3.14. So given that Wix 4 has not been completed in the time frame that I certainly wished, uh, we're going to take a few more fixes in the 3.14, um, the highest priority or the highest profile fixes 
to take these states. The first one is going to be the um, SFX CA build process problem with long command lines. Uh, we had a customer that hit this. We fixed it. They verified that that seems to be working for them. So that's a good thing that has been verified. And that will affect people that have been pulling in longer and longer paths on their command lines, which I think we're seeing because .NET standard and um, its interactions with .NET 4.6 ends up adding a lot of assemblies, which ends up blowing out the um, command line. So that was one of those that I think has made this even worse than before. Um, second, the burn antivirus thing has been a pain. We have somebody, uh, Sean did the work uh, that and has validated uh, the fix in 4.0. This has turned out to be a bad thing that people can't get through in 3.14, um, in 3x. So we're bringing that back, and someone has said they are willing to validate that fix at 3.14, which will prove hopefully in 4 that that fix is, given the, again, the profile of this thing that just stops people from working. Also, we got confirmation from this customer that it seems that these um, antiviruses that are causing problems are uh, fairly prevalent in European um, countries for whatever reason. Um, and so they've been like, yeah, our European subsidiaries are essentially been seeing this a lot and we'd like to try to bring this back. So that's that one that hopefully uh, Sean's awesome bug fix from before just fixes it. The last thing is um, we had someone come up and say, uh, we would like to see ARM64 we're willing to do uh, to pay for the project to be completed. And so we are, have under contract done the ARM64 work um, that will be done, well, I think it's done now, and we will have a build out with that next week. So we're putting all these together uh, at the end of this week or early next week and to have a build out by the end of next week to address the high profile fixes for 314. That does not mean that we have a 314 final uh, release. The people that are taking these have been willing to take 314 cutting edge to move themselves forward. They've already been on that edge, so uh, they will continue to work there and help us validate stuff that will roll us forward into Wix 4 as well. So a bit of excitement around 314, given the fact that um, externals were willing to put a lot of effort into, well, a lot of money into making these things happen so that we can bring 3.14 and send it out. So uh, new 3.14 build out next week with the highest profile, easily the highest profile issues um, of 3x. And we will see them come into 4.0 shortly thereafter. So I think those are my big topics of the week. Questions, comments, other things people want to talk about. Things going on out there. I know Jacob is back, which is great to have you back, Jacob. It's been a few weeks or maybe a couple months. Um, usually he has something from the gallery. Anything else so you want about to talk that, about? What about that SFX, you know, when you're you're building a managed CA and because we're signing this DLL now, it breaks. Uh, were you following that on Wix users? No, I missed that one. So for whatever reason, we're signing the base DLL that the managed CAs use as a base. Uh -huh. So then when you try to actually do the process of creating the managed CA, because it's signed, it doesn't work anymore. So we need to Not unsign that. that well. Yeah, so the yeah. default is to sign all managed code, and because that's managed code. Or no, we, no, we sign all native, native code. code. Yeah, it's the native code stuff. And it's right. So it's we sign all native code, so we need to not sign that. Is there already an issue open on that, Sean? I don't know if anyone actually opened an issue. I don't all think right. so. All right. Well, why can you pop an issue open and we will fix that in here because that does sound blocking that if the thing's signed and then we mess with it, then you are going to be very hosed. Um, it's only a problem if you want to re-sign because yeah. there's already a signature there. I see. But the result is not signed either. Correct. Invalid anyway. But there's no way that we can sign. Yeah, but we're blocking you from signing it then yeah. as well. Yeah, and you need to sign it if you want the vice guard. Right. And given the fix. All right, so, okay, I got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Sean, if you find it, let me know, and we will toss that on the end of the queue. That should be very straightforward to just say, Please don't sign this file. Okay. Um, 
it'll be a small change in the larger change for all the ARM64 build process stuff. So get that right. And Jacob says he has nothing going on. Um, I guess we're in call week. A little bit of excitement. Um, one thing I'm going to toss out again, mostly for people to think about, and I'll send an email. Um, we're currently, I think our last meeting was a month ago. I'm, I'm still questioning, should we do this every month? Um, I don't need an answer right now, but something to think about. Maybe the amount we have right now is monthly. Um, I know I brought this up before, and Bob mentioned something. Maybe it'll be faster when we have four of stuff to talk about. Um, but anyway, uh, hopefully I just won't be sick and all the other stuff so that I can actually stay on target. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Well, given that it's pretty quiet out there, I think we're good. Uh, Sean sent that my way. Uh, we'll see a 314 build this next week uh, and uh, 4.0 progress. I'm kind of tied up um, until the patching stuff's kind of on hold until I think April because this February March is very full with other things. So we'll start seeing that. And uh, after patching and merge modules, and this, I want a beta or alpha or whatever we call of it, a release of Wix 4 that people can start really using because it will be that close as far as people trying it and finding bug fixes. So that's the excitement to look forward to. Um, we're getting close after a very long time of not being close. So uh, until I say right now, we'll say two weeks again on Wednesday in two weeks, which I think is the 4th. Yep, the 4th of March. Um, and then we will uh, reconvene, and then we'll talk about the world as it is then. Until then, all of you have a fantastic two weeks. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.